Right, hello everyone, it is Mr. Sunshine, um, Harley Davidson technician Eddie here in sunny South Florida. And what we have here is a 2005 Harley Davidson Softail Deluxe. Uh, it has the cowhide on it. Uh, I've owned this bike for about 17 years now. We got about 40,000 miles. And uh, today I was out riding around, had a fantastic time driving around, went all over Oceanside, did a lot of videos, uh, came back to my warehouse. And I went to start the bike and it did nothing. There was nothing there. Uh, the light came on on the uh, dashboard. Uh, nothing else came on other than the uh, odometer light, the backlight. Uh, no power on the uh, turn signals, no power anywhere. So uh, first thing you do, I, I, I went ahead and took the uh, back seat out, took the main seat off, checked the battery. We had 13 volts, checked it with a voltmeter. Uh, check the uh, fuses. I pulled out every single fuse. Everything was good. Uh, still no power. And uh, I went ahead and w and uh, the switch, the switch, as a matter of fact, we're going to set this up here so that I can video as such, just like that. The switch here. Uh, when it was in the on position, it actually sits this way. All right, there's there was some play. You can feel that, you see that play in there. And by jiggling it around, I saw that the lights would come on and come off. So that tells me that after 40,000 miles and 17 years, the ignition has finally failed. So uh, on the back of this lock, uh, you'll go ahead and you take the center nut off that's in the center. Uh, this is actually flipped upside down right now. You back that screw, this whole unit lifts off. You turn it over. Here's the odometer or speedometer and all of that. And uh, here's your lights. And here's where the ignition switch goes. And these four screws hold that switch down just like that. And this is the plug that plugs in. It's just like there. So what we went ahead, I went over to the local motorcycle shop, Gorilla Bob. I called Gorilla Bob. Gorilla Bob said, yeah, I got an ignition switch over here. And uh, this would be the ignition switch. Now, there's a slight difference in this switch. As a matter of fact, we'll put them both like this. Uh, the keyhole is the same. That goes open. That goes open. All right, they're both on the both same, both on the same side. The switch on the top. The only difference on this and this one is this has a tab on the right hand side whereas this one doesn't also this one is straight where this one has a little groove that locks in so this would be an aftermarket for 17.9 i don't know if the brand new oem harley davidson would go uh, this is like about i think he was like 25 26 bucks i don't know what the uh oem harley davidson would be but uh, at this point it doesn't matter so uh, the back of it is identical. You can see that, the switch and everything else, the springs in there, the uh, arrows that line up the same way. So uh, as a matter of fact, we're gonna turn this back around. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put this back in. So to do that, we're gonna take these screws out. All right, these are the four screws that hold the switch in place. I actually, when I, I put a blanket over the the gas tank so that we don't scratch it all right and we're going to go ahead and set that lock down in there just like that uh, we actually have the socket for this the proper socket would be a quarter inch quarter inch socket so we're going to go ahead and put the screws back in get them started loose and then we'll tighten them up to make sure they're all lined up in place so I, I'm not saying that if your if your Harley's not starting, uh, you know this is going to solve it. But uh, by doing a quick quick diagnosis, uh, I found that it was in fact the ignition switch. Now it could be anything. It could be a, a, a relay went bad. It could be a fuse blown. It could be a dead battery. 
It could be any number of things. But uh, by shaking the, the cylinder uh, right here, as a matter of fact, you can see the play in it just like that was enough to keep it. Now, I could pro I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this uh, clip off and we're going to dissect this lock and we're going to check the contacts in it. Uh, after 40,000 miles in 17 years, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of wear in there. And uh, that's where it was at. You'd have to shake this in order for it to make the contact. So uh, we're not going to take a chance on using that driving her down the road in the event you get stuck. Thank God I was stuck here. So what we're going to do is this, this uh, actually is going to push right on just like this. That tab is actually going to slide right in, and boom, there it is. We got it in place. It's nice and tight and jammed up on there. And we're going to now turn this thing around, pull this off. Here's our bolt that holds everything in place. That sits in there like that. We've got to take the nut and the washer off. Right, everything looks nice and clean around there. This is your your uh, trim molding, so we make sure that the molding is on there correctly. Put that back on there like that. Could put a little bit of glue or something, but I don't want to put anything like that on there at this particular point in time. And we line up the hole. We put the thing on there like that. That one's in, that one's in. Whoops. And once you have your molding on and get your bolt in place, <laughs> ain't this something? might even be better if I did put a little touch of uh, glue on there to hold that. Yeah, uh, kind of hard doing this by one person. pain in the ass, isn't it? Oh, here's, here's an issue that needs to go up on here, on top there. And it sits inside. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. Boy, this is a job, isn't it? Changing the switch ain't nothing compared to lining this all back together. Thing is, it really good uh, cooperating to. Okay, so here we go. We have that on. We just stick it on. Now we're going to put this nut on. We'll go ahead and just tighten, gently tighten that down. As such. And we'll go ahead and turn the switch on. There's our lights. There's our sun. We'll go ahead and put the switch on. There we have it. You got it. Lights out. 
battery. Everything's operating. Control. Perfect, there you have it, Mr. Sunshine. Motorcycle ignition switch installed. Thank you for watching.